spiders are predators. They're, they're, they're carnivores, but we, we are outside of their size range, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, they're, they're really interested in primarily insects uh, and uh, sometimes other other spiders as well. Charlene Donahue is a retired entomologist for the Maine Forest Service. She worked for more than a decade with scientist Daniel Jennings. They recently published a checklist that identifies 677 different species of spiders living in Maine. So through your work, you were able to look at spiders from all the counties in Maine and you were able to identify how many different species of spiders live in Maine and how many were you and Dr. Jennings able to add to what we knew? In that 14 years, we, we added, I think it was 91 more species. Then these were not new to science. They're primarily ones that would, no one had ever recorded that lived here before. So they were found in surrounding states and provinces. But when, when Dan started doing this work, there was only really one list of main spiders and that was from Mount Desert Island with 154 species on it. So with him adding 600 and, you know, coming up with a list of 677, he really increased the knowledge of spiders in Maine. More than 71,000 spiders were captured for the checklist mostly by Jennings, who started cataloging spiders in the 70s. Uh, spiders were a passion of his, as well as part of his job. So he amassed a huge number of spider specimens. He had thousands, tens of thousands of them in his basement. And when he retired, he, uh, he was working on it by himself and um, was ready to give up because it was just such a massive project in the Maine Forest Service and Maine uh, Inland Fisheries and Wildlife felt that it was too important a project to just drop. So we formed a collaboration. Daniel Jennings died in September before the checklist was published. And he is a, a wonderful man. Uh, I've known him decades since you know he first moved to Maine. And, um, and then we you know, started collaborating on these uh, spider projects and it was just delightful. He was so excited about spiders. Who discovered each spider and when and where is included on the checklist. Some date back to the 1700s. I find them really fascinating to observe their behaviors. Donahue isn't the only one who is enamored with spiders. Dana Wild writes a column about the natural world for the Kennebec Journal. I think they're really, really intelligent and I kind of get caught up in, you know, what's this spider thinking when she's weaving this web and how she, you know, selected this site to build the web. He recently wrote a book about Maine spiders. The checklist was not surprising to him. Pretty much all the spider literature, all the spider people will tell you that there's, there are far more spiders than anybody knows about. There's spiders everywhere. There's probably a spider within three feet of where you're sitting right now. Dana, you're making me uneasy. <laughs> the hundred foot spider that was now ravaging the panic stricken countryside. Long before Hollywood used spiders to scare us, just a mere glimpse of one can send some people over the edge. The spiders creep people out because they look like monsters. You know, they kind of, they're like little tiny monsters walking around and, it's, you know, it's scary to look at. Thank God they're not big. But whether they send a tingle up your spine or you are fascinated by the webs they weave, the experts say spiders are actually a good thing. They're the guardians of your garden. All the stuff that's trying to eat your vegetable um, plants, the spiders are you know, after. So they help maintain that balance in nature uh, between the insects that eat plants and or are pest insects in some way. Spiders aren't after you, they're after, after the things that are after you. They're just a very vital part of what happens in, in nature. They're your friends. As far as poisonous spiders go, Donahue says there are none that live in Maine, at least that are known. Sometimes poisonous spiders get brought into the state on a vehicle or on products, but they almost always get killed and don't reproduce. Donahue says it's very rare for people to ever encounter them. Is it over? It's over, it's over. although there's probably a spider within three feet of you. Awesome, thank you. <laughs>